So my research uh, focuses on, on the effects of humans on their environment and in particular on their impacts on insects. So uh, now we have a lot of major impacts on the environment, things like climate change and landscape modification. And even in Australia, there are issues um, such as major extinctions of, of mammals from the landscape. Um, and these all have major impacts on insects. So I'm interested in um, insects and I, I take a sort of community level approach, which means that I look at multiple species at once. And what I'm trying, the reason that we do this, particularly for insects, is that there are just so many species of insects that we, we really, it would take us hundreds of years to know enough about those insects to work out which ones might be at risk um, under human impacts. So we also take an approach where we try to look at the traits of insects, um, things like how big they are or what they eat and, and how that might affect um, how well they do under, under human impacts. Um, insects are also really important in the functioning of ecosystems. So we, we focus a lot on the kinds of functions that insects perform. So things like um, ants are really important as seed dispersers. So we're interested in how ants and their function of seed dispersal might be affected by humans. So from this work, we hope to obtain a predictive understanding of uh, how humans are impacting insects um, and how, how that actually works. So what kinds of disturbances might cause what kinds of responses. Um, this will give us the ability to alter the way that we might change a landscape uh, such that it's less damaging to assemblages of insects. Uh, so for example, there's a lot of work now um, looking at putting out trees for carbon offsets. Um, so that's, a, you know, that's great for offsetting carbon, but how, how could we make that also better for insects? Could we just do some sort of minor measure like altering the structure of the ground layer that might also make it a really valuable thing for conserving insect species? Well, species diversity is um, it's really important for a number of reasons. As, as I said, the insects are a real, really major component of species diversity. There are about four million species of insects in the world. Um, and some people value, in, value diversity for itself. Um, I, I do that myself. But I think that other people value diversity uh, because, for example, uh, there's a lot of species out there that we don't know much about that potentially in the long term are useful for bi biotechnology, for example, for de developing new medicines. Or um, many of them are also really uh, important in the functioning of ecosystems. So, uh, for example, pollinators will, uh, are one of the major things that allow us to um, keep a lot of crops going. So if we didn't have pollinators, uh, we wouldn't, it would be a lot more intensive um, for us to run agriculture. So it's, this means that it's really important that we preserve this diversity of insects. And to do that, we need to, to better understand them. And I think uh, particularly with all these changes that are going on in ecosystems, we need to make sure that we keep the full, as full a uh, cohort of insects as possible because um, because things are changing so much and each species has a different ability to deal with each kind of change that happens.